the best Thunderbolt 4 dock station for Macs on the market right now. Let's take a look. This is Ivanki Fusion Dock Max 1 dock station that features 20 different ports and I've tested the hell out of it. Previously I had an Anchor Thunderbolt 3 dock station with 3 Thunderbolt 3 ports and a single USB Type-A port, and I had 3 Samsung T7 SSDs connected to it as well as another cheap USB-A dock from TP-Link that had all of my backup HDD drives, audio equipment and printer connected, but it wasn't stable enough and occasionally I had to unplug some of the drives and connect the others. So here you can see the Samsung T7 4TB SSD read and write speed when it's plugged in directly to my M1 Pro MacBook. Pro 16. And here is the speed via Anchor Thunderbolt 3 dock, a little slower, but insignificantly. Then I tried to connect not one, not two, not even five discs to the iVanki Dual Thunderbolt 4 dock, I plugged in 10 at once. Four Samsung T7 SSDs, four HDDs, one RAID system and one backup HDD drive. Then I checked the speed and it was almost exactly the same as with the Anchor dock, within the margin of error. By the way, in about two weeks of extensive usage I didn't experience any crashes or issues with the iVanki dock. Then on top of 10 discs I plugged in two 4K displays. My M1 Pro MacBook Pro supports only two external displays, but if you have like M1 Max, M2 Max, M3 Max chips, you can have up to four external displays. Then I plugged in my audio equipment and my printer, basically using each and every port and still everything worked fine. The SD card reader is a bit slower than in my MacBook, but the speeds are still okay. Speaking of four displays, it can support up to four 6K displays at 60Hz. And this was tested by both MaxTech and Fstoppers YouTube channels, I'll leave the links to those videos down in the description below. Keep in mind that you need to follow a specific order when connecting multiple displays, otherwise it may not work correctly. Also don't forget that the M1, 2 and 3 series supports only one external display, the Pro series supports two external displays and the Mac series supports up to four external monitors. Then I tried to plug in the same setup, but one 4K external monitor instead of two, to my M2 MacBook Air. And to my surprise, no matter it's only an 8GB version, everything worked flawlessly as well. So you can use the iVanki dock station with M series Max without any limitations, which is nice. I think a dock station has a little trick up its sleeve. It uses dual Thunderbolt 4 connector to support up to 40 gigabits per second speeds as well as 96 watt charging of the laptop. Don't break or lose this cable, guys. There is a huge selection of ports and I think like 95% of users will be more than satisfied with this layout. Because it literally has each and every port I have ever needed for my particular workflow, which is professional video editing. In the kit you also get a pretty beefy 180 watt power brick, the dock can be placed either horizontally or vertically, and I love this floating design. It helps to cool down the dock, which gets pretty warm. You also get four cable ties for cable management, as well as a very thick and detailed instruction manual. And a nice bonus, an 8K braided full-size HDMI cable. So if you want a single cable connection, okay, okay, a two cable connection to your Mac, that unleashes the potential of 20 ports and up to four 6K external displays while being silent and super stable because of the dual Thunderbolt 4 chips, the Ivanki Fusion Dock Max is the must-have device at your workstation. The price is $440 and to be honest, there is no real competitors on the market right now because they all have a single Thunderbolt 4 connection that cannot handle a lot of devices working at the same time. And in my opinion, the Ivanki Dock is priced very reasonably. I can highly recommend it. So what do you think, guys? Do you use any dock stations with your Macs and are you completely satisfied with those? And what do you think of this iVanki dock? Please share all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, please smash the like and subscribe buttons and hit the notifications bell. And here is a video for you to watch next, my extensive one-year review of the M1 Pro MacBook Pro 16 from a video editor standpoint. See you soon, guys. Take care. Bye.